previously on The Biggest Loser. Everyone said goodbye to Kay, an ex-soldier who raised the bar higher than ever. You have the highest percentage of weight loss of any female to ever play The Biggest Loser. At home, Kay's dramatic transformation continued. I've lost a total of 83 pounds. There are seven players left on campus, and so far, they've lost an incredible total of 1,031 pounds. Tonight, the trainers step up the intensity and pull out all the stops. That was your last chance workout. And then, one player will reach a remarkable weight loss goal. The Biggest Loser starts right now. What have you done today to make you feel proud? It's never too late to cry. What have you done today to make you feel proud? Yeah, we need a change. Yeah, do it today. Yeah, I can feel my spirit rising in pain. Yeah, we need a change. Yeah, so do it today. Yeah. It's week 12 now. I'm just, I'm, I can't put into words how happy I am to be here. Actually winning the biggest loser is, is actually in sight now. Beforehand, I was just focusing like a day at a time, you know, trying to get through it. Now I actually kind of see that goal in sight. It's kind of scary, honestly, because it was almost like Kay was my cushion, you know, because that's what people want to do. They want to get rid of the big threat. So now all of a sudden people are pointing out how much time I'm spending in the gym and how high my percentage is, and it's so much more pressure. Not only do I acknowledge that I could be the biggest threat, I welcome it. I'm throwing it down. I'm the biggest threat in this house. Increase the speed. Let's go. That's it. Jump. And I just want to say from here on in for everybody remaining here that uh, if you want me, come get me. People don't agree with me, that's fine, but you're going to have to prove me wrong. This morning, we walk into the gym, and Allison is there. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. <laughs> Whenever Allison shows up, something's about to change. Well, this week, the fate of everyone in this room rests in the hands of America. Oh, crap. We have asked millions of Biggest Loser fans to log on to NBC.com and vote for their favorite challenge. Your challenge will be one of the four presented here. Up first, the U.S. Bank Climb. In season one, contestants race up 74 stories in L.A.'s tallest building. This is 29. You're not going to go on the step. Over the ambulance, okay? We did it! Let's go! Let's I want to go! <laughs> you guys did it! 74 flights of stairs just seems absolutely the most daunting task ever. America's second option was the ultimate jump rope. In season two, contestants faced a mechanical, never ending jump rope. When they didn't jump high enough, they were eliminated. I am the oh. worst, the worst jumper here. Oh. The thought of jumping rope is just, yeah, I am not going to be so hot at that. Oh. In season two, contestants grabbed onto poles, suspended over water, and hugged it as if their lives depended on it. How you doing, Andrea? You sleep? 
Susie and Andrea hung in for over an hour. Hang on. We haven't really done a mental challenge yet, and I really believe that that pole is a complete mental challenge. Well, there's one more challenge that America had to choose from. Number four, the escalator challenge. Basically, it's just a never-ending Stairmaster. Oh, God, I hate escalators. All right, guys. Good job. I hated escalators before I came out here. I hate escalators. Scoot up, Wiley. I can't make it, guys. You guys gotta get out. No. Kai, you stay on this escalator. I can't. I'm out. You get you two got it, I'm out. Mary, I'm sorry. Heather, stay up here. Stay up here. You push through it. Heather, come. I think I can pretty much can participate or at least compete in any of the challenges. But if it was the escalator challenge, I think that I got a I think I've got a great chance. Josie, oh, stop! No, no! Yeah. Honestly, that's the one that I really want. Looks like you've got your work cut out for you guys. So you have a couple days to get ready, and then we will find out which challenge America has chosen for you. I'll see you soon. All right. I'll be honest, I hope it's not one of the stair challenges. If I had a preference, it would be the jump rope or the pole. Brian's the red team's last hope right now. He's my last hope, and um, I need to get him in the mind frame where he needs to be. If you're jump roping, if you're on that pole, if you're running upstairs, regardless of what you do, I want you to focus like you've never focused before. Keep your eyes in one place. You block out everything. I still see a lot of room for improvement there, and all I can do at this point is really hope and work him really hard and stay on top of his nutrition. Beautiful. You just got to think, bring it. I welcome it. Bring it. I welcome it. Bring it. It's stressful. It is stressful in this house, man. Faster. Seven. Six, beautiful. Five, good acceleration, Nicole. I mean, I'm in a situation right now where I'm not sleeping at night. I'm thinking about the safety of my two people, my two people. If someone tells you to climb 74 flights of stairs, you'll be like this, bring it. Okay, I'll do it. Up, throw it. Come on, Neil. You were lifting 20 pound weight. Remember when you first got here? Couldn't even lift a weight over your head like this. Look how far you've come. This week is going to be another really tough week. If America wants you to hold on to a pole for hours on end with your feet cramping up, it's nothing compared to me standing on you right now. I'm going to push them to an extreme and keep their focus narrow and clear. Any kind of stress that you've been holding on to, now's the time to just let it all go. This meditation has become a part of our whole workout through this whole season. Take another deep breath, inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Rest is a weapon. Two strong individuals. Bob has taught us from the very beginning, meditate. It's just about giving thanks to your body for what it has, what it has done for you. Concentrate, shut everything else out. Hopefully if we do get the pole challenge, the blue team would have a bit of an advantage because Bob has taught us to relax and, and kind of let go sometimes because it helps you become stronger in the end. Get up there. That's a free challenge workout. Nine, get full. Five. Worst case scenario, 76 flights of stairs. So America, please take care of us. Come on, we're, we're doing our best here, but you don't have to torture us. Good, one minute here. <laughs> if that thing snaps, I'm gonna be mad. Snap, snap. After we voted out Amy, we sort of pulled out all the stops to get back on top, and I don't really have any tricks up my sleeve anymore. Now, well, I'm gonna beat the crap out of them. Up, up, go! Yeah. Chest up, shoulders back, press up, up, press. Arms up, no! Four, push! Good. They're getting more fit now. Troll! Shut up! Oh, you're angry! Four, five, and I'm setting and you down. With that comes more creative beatings. Up. Oh, yeah. It's like Cirque du Soleil up in here, man. Coming up on The Biggest Loser, the competition heats up and Jillian comes down on her team. Get your hands up or I'll hit you in the face. Come on. And Kim makes sure her last red team member doesn't miss a beat. Down, up, down, up. Push yourself. 
Be the biggest loser at home with a six-week program for maximum weight loss. You're looking good in there. Keep going. The Biggest Loser Power Sculpt and Cardio Max available on DVD December 18th at NBCStore.com. I've always said nutrition is my weakest point. I think if I got the nutrition down to a T, I would definitely be more of a threat than I am right now. Hey, Crazy, what's up? With B, I need to know what the heck is going on. He is doing something wrong. I am there for the workout. I know what he's doing working out. So we had a discussion about what's going on with his weight. What are you eating? It's a cherry. You want that, right? No. I have never in my life had anybody so challenging with food. He doesn't like vegetables. His gag reflex is incredible. Um, there's no forcing B to eat things he doesn't like. We got to talk. What's up? <laughs> I know how hard you have worked in every workout. I'm seeing your nutrition improve, but there's something that's not getting written down on your journals. There's something going on. I want you to tell me about everything that you're eating, the way that you're eating, how much oils, how many spices. Maybe there's just something going on with the spices and something that you're not writing down. Breakfast, I have a, a protein smoothie. Okay. And a bowl of cereal. Okay. Lunch? Chicken or beef. Okay. Always, because I don't eat the fish. Okay. And spices, garlic powder all the time, the onion powder, good. pepper. Okay. Uh, I marinate in soy sauce sometimes. Wait, you what? Marinate in soy sauce sometimes. You marinate in soy sauce? Not just soy sauce by itself, but yeah, I use soy sauce. What were you thinking? I was thinking it tastes good. B, it's not about taste. It it's not about taste. Less, oh my god. Less sodium soy sauce. Okay. That could very well be a huge part of the problem. This is less salty, it's not no salt. This is light. In one tablespoon, it has 520 milligrams. So if you're using like a half a cup of this, you've got thousands and thousands of milligrams of sodium. Thousands. I mean, the power of this stuff on the scale is huge. I don't understand how many times you have to tell someone that sodium makes you retain water. See it? Say goodbye. Never again. I'm not real big on eliminating things from your diet, especially if you like them, but right now, that's where B is at. We don't have time to retain water on the scale. Can you live without soy sauce? I can definitely live <laughs> without soy sauce. No soy sauce. No soy sauce. As I'm walking into the building, I am just praying that I'm not gonna see an escalator, that there are no jump ropes hidden anywhere. Come on in, you guys. I was very uh, relieved. <sighs> no stairs. Uh, God bless America. Hi, Ron. What's up, Alice? As you know, America got to choose your challenge this week. There were four challenges to choose from, some of them a little more intimidating than others. Well, the bottom line is, America has spoken. In an online vote at NBC.com, America and the Biggest Loser fans chose Poles Over Water as their favorite challenge. Ooh. Not 74 flights of stairs. And I see some pretty happy smiles on your faces as you look at those poles. Well, this extra long challenge from Wrigley's Extra Chewing Gum is pretty simple. All you gotta do is hold on to those poles for as long as you can. And whichever player holds on the longest wins. Going into this challenge, I, I'm confident that this is finally going to be the one that I win. I mean, I've been, what, 0 for 11 since I've been here. I haven't even come close. I'm so sick of losing, you know what I mean? Like, I definitely don't want to be the first contestant ever to uh, never win a challenge with a lose. A very big fan of the show wants to show you his support. Hi, Biggest Loser contestants. I'm Andre Agassi. Andre Agassi. Shut up! And I was like, does anybody... He's talking to me. He's talking to us. Before we get started, I just want to say congratulations to each of you for not just making it this far in the competition, but for committing to this journey and creating a future of your choosing. It is inspiring and motivating, and I thank you for that. I'm sure for most of you, the most difficult part has been going through this without your family, or your loved ones close to you. So therefore, the winner of this competition will get an all-inclusive vacation with your family to Tamarack Resort, Idaho. 
Tamarack is the most exciting new all-season resort to be built in the last 25 years. Stephanie and I have chosen Tamarack as the site for our first luxury resort development. We invite you to join our family in discovering this special place. Tamarack Resort looked really amazing because it looked like it was geared towards someone who has a healthy lifestyle. All the kinds of things that I'm going to be integrating into my life when I leave here. So keep working hard and let this competition begin. Best of luck. Oh, that's awesome. Wow. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, you know, I really want to win this prize because I was just thinking about how exciting it would be to take my son there and to let him experience snow for the first time. All right, you know the game? You know what you're playing for? Go get changed. Let's do this. All right, okay, let's go. I'm a little further along upper body strength wise than, uh, than a lot of the competitors and I thought if that's what it's going to take then I'll probably have a good shot at it. Bob has worked a lot with us on yoga and meditation and being relaxed so I, um, I thought I might have a decent chance. I wasn't sure. I think it could have been uh, anybody's game. All right, this is it. You are competing for a week's vacation with your family. Everyone in position? Ready. Get set. Go. Hold on. You gotta find a position that's comfortable because you are gonna be here a while. Neil's trying to get those feet in a position that's comfortable. Julie's on her tiptoes down there at the end. Isabel's on her tiptoes. Bill's readjusting, but he seems very calm, very confident. Isabel's out. What happened, Isabel? Neil, right behind her. Bill's readjusting, trying to find a way that's comfortable. Julie, Holly, they haven't moved once. He's trying to lower his center of gravity. That's it, Nicole's out. Bill, Julie, B, and Holly. He's taking a big risk readjusting here. Come on, B, hold on. Fight for it. Holly will let one leg slip. She's got to fight to get her place back. And the other foot's almost off. Ooh. Uh, Come on, B. Hang in there, buddy. Holly's got... Can't be comfortable oh, right now. B is out. Holly, there's only three left. Oh, that was a good hang, though. Good job, guys. Final two, Bill and Julie. Julie looks like she could sit here all day. Julie and Bill. Stay in there, Jules. Who is going to spend a week with their families in Tamarack? According to studies, how many Americans will be overweight in the year 2015? 90%, 75%, 50%, 25%. The answer will be revealed after these commercials. How the D.C. area is remembering Sean Taylor at 11. How many Americans will be overweight in the year 2015? The answer, 75% of Americans will be overweight or obese, according to a study from John Hopkins University in Baltimore. That's an estimated 234 million people. Uh, come on, B, hang in there, buddy. Holly's got, can't be comfortable right now. B is out. Holly, there's only three left. That was a good hang, though. Julie and Bill you started off in a team together. You were in trios together, duos together, and now you go head to head. I hear Allison say, 
Oh, and Bill. I was like, ah, oh, come on. As soon as I heard his name, I was like, oh, no, I'm going to have to hold on to this bowl all night long. Julie, how are you feeling? Don't talk, Julie. Just concentrate. Breathe. You can drive the SUV up to Idaho from Jacksonville. Bill's going for a little trash talk, and Julie is ignoring him. Julie looks like she could sit here all day. Final two, Bill and Julie. Who is going to spend a week with their families in Tamarack? Come on, Julie, you got it. Hey, Bill, I think your arms are getting kind of tired, aren't they? My arms aren't getting tired. Yeah, right. You guys aren't rooting against me, are you? Hey, watching you now is almost as fun as watching you in yoga class. We got some sideline heckling going on here. Bill's got to readjust again. Julie's got to slip. Come on, Julie. Don't give him the satisfaction. What? Julie, concentrate. Just breathe. Don't talk, just breathe. You're taking a nap, Julie. Julie does look like she's taking a nap. She's got her eyes closed. She hasn't moved once. Bill's got a death grip on that pole. He's not going to give up. You're hugging Noah when he gets to see the snow. Come on, Jules. You've got it. Don't you dare even think about it. You have it. He's about to fall, Julie. You got this. Just breathe, Julie. Mm. Oh. oh. That's it. Bill wins. Bill has won a week's vacation at Tamarack Resort. What makes this prize so great and what makes me so happy is that this is the vacation I promised my kids. And this year, I'm going to ski with them. This is just going to make them so happy. It really is. And Julie's going to get him. He won fair and square, but I just couldn't resist it. I was just like, you know what, Bill? I just had to swim over and just dunk him. And I was just like, if I could have drowned him, I would have. I'm sure I speak for everyone that I'm so over Bill winning everything. Enough is enough. I love the guy, but he's not even fat anymore. I don't understand why he's even here. I think he got confused on the way to skinny people camp. Congratulations, Bill. You just won Wrigley's Poles Over Water Extra Long Lasting Challenge and an all-inclusive week-long vacation for four at Andre Agassi's Tamarack Resort. Wow, that's fantastic. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm very excited. But remember, at the end of the week, we still have to face the weigh-in. And that is what really counts in this game. So everyone stay focused. Keep that in mind and keep yourselves above the yellow line. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Take care. Allison, um, you know, congratulates Bill. You know, we all wanted to just celebrate because we haven't been around a pool in a very long time. So we just figured, oh, let's go for a little swim. being a bad sport and being mad that I didn't win. So I was sitting on the sidelines just watching and had the opportunity to see Nicole dive in right in front of me. Poor Nicole, you know, um, she is such a great sport. You know, um, unfortunately, I think that she did not read the no diving sign because she was standing on it. Wait, you look for a tooth? She was like, is something wrong with him? Can you see? Can you see something's wrong with my teeth? And I was like, girl, it's bad. We all end up searching for, like, playing Marco Polo for Nicole's tooth in the water, which is hilarious. I hope 
like they're gonna rush out to the dentist the next day and get that that gap fixed in them. Cause right now we could kick a field goal through that thing. <laughs> Coming up on The Biggest Loser. Will Nicole's accident affect her workouts before the weigh-in? Nicole, come on! Come on! And later, at the closest weigh-in yet, it all comes down to one pound. Stay tuned for more Biggest Loser. Check out special holiday survival tips from Jillian, only at NBC.com. I would give up all my dreams to see him succeed. This time they're doing it together. Biggest Loser Couples, New Year's Day on NBC. An all-new Bionic Woman, Wednesday, 9, 8 central on NBC. Hey. What's up, Bobby? What happened? Where's Nicole? What happened? What happened? What happened? Uh, all right. Well, after the challenge was over, she dove into the pool where it's like three feet deep, where everybody else was jumping in when it was seven feet. So she kind of <laughs> broke both of her teeth. She chipped her. Oh, my God. Yeah. Is she okay? No, she's okay. She was actually a really good sport about it. Like, everything was fine. Just that... Where is she? So where is she now? She's at the dentist right now. I was thinking, what are they going to have to do to her? I've got to weigh in with this girl. She can't go home. If she loses one day, if you lose one day in this house, you could go below the yellow line. So what, her teeth, she... Like, they're chipped. Like, like they, they're chipped. <laughs> I lost Kay last week. I don't want to lose Nicole this week. So, uh, you want to see a picture? <laughs> yeah. Do you have a picture? Of course we get a picture. God. <laughs> You might want to zoom into the teeth. It might be easier. Oh, my God. She looks like some of my relatives from back in Tennessee now. I know I should be laughing because it's not funny, but if you were there, you would have laughed your ass off. I'm telling you. Honestly, I'm still worried with B on the nutrition, and I need to make sure I know what's going on. What's happening for breakfast? I'm going to have oatmeal today. Good. It's hard for me to power down food that I don't like, so the biggest thing is for me just finding foods that, you know, that I like so I can continue on the diet. I know that you want me to have around 300 milligrams of sodium per meal. That kind of helps me gauge what I can and cannot use. Yeah. It's a change, but I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm working with the change. Good. So. He's been working hard. He's improving on his nutrition. As long as he keeps learning and keeps improving, that's just, that's what this is all about, and that's part of the process. So let's just hope it doesn't send him home. So I had to go to the dentist today, and I was there for about four and a half hours. They gave me temporary teeth. As soon as I got back, Dr. Jen and Dr. Huizinga brought all the data of the amazing results that we've had since the start until now. So how are y'all doing? Hey, Excellent. good. Good, good. I wanted to introduce my partner, Dr. Jennifer Kearns. She was a contestant last year from the home states in Virginia and uh, kicked some serious butt, lost 110 pounds. <laughs> there you go, Dr. Jen. Yeah, I'm so glad to be here, you guys. You ready to go? Yeah, let's do it. Neil, you started out as the big guy. I'm about 440 pounds. The reason I say about 440 is I don't really make scales for people over 300 pounds. You've lost a lot of weight. This, I'm going to call one jug unit. OK. How many of these jug units do you think you lost? Uh, if I'd guess, maybe two. 3.5. Oh, wow. Jug units of fat you lost. That means if I took three and a half of these and we taped them around your body, <laughs> that was you. Wow. That was you three months ago, which is, it's, it's almost incomprehensible. It's just it's incredible to hear something like that because you, you realize that you've only been here for a little over three months now and to average one huge weight jug like that uh, per month is pretty, pretty remarkable. Julie? Here is basically how much waist you lost, how many inches. And you can see you lost about 12 inches off your waist. Jules, you can see 45% of your waist volume is gone. Wow. That's awesome. Good job, Jules. It's 
nice to actually see a doctor and not be scared of them. You've lost the most area of your waist of any contestant here, which is a really a phenomenal accomplishment at month three. It's been a long time since I've had a waist. Being um, the person who's lost the least weight in this game, sometimes you get consumed with that scale, but yet I've lost more around my waist than anybody here. And so that's something to be proud of, you know, that you don't always judge how far you've come by what that scale says. Uh, Isabel, I want to show you something. We didn't speak a lot about this at the beginning of the show, but you really were pre-diabetic. You currently have the best insulin of the entire group. It's crazy. It's crazy. I mean, my grandfather had diabetes, and I, you know, I saw what he had to go through, and he did die an early death, so I'm, I know what it means. Bill, what's transpired in the last three months is we have pulled you off your blood pressure medication, and in the face of that, your blood pressure top number has gone from 164 to 128, and your bottom, the diastop, has gone from 102 to 80. So you now have gone from uncontrolled, bad hypertension to a excellent blood pressure. Wow. Exactly. Wow. That's yeah. fantastic. I'm getting more and more to uh, like the person that I um, that I always envisioned that I was. I, I hope that I could just carry this feeling with me for the rest of my life. B, this is your total cholesterol, and when we started, your total cholesterol was 279. You're no longer anywhere close to that. You've dropped over 100 points, 176 now. We don't have medicines that strong. So just with diet and exercise, you've literally gotten down into the normal range. Seeing the progress um, that, that I've had so far definitely makes me want to, you know, continue and reach my goal weight. Nicole? Yeah? Step on forward here, because you have done something quite amazing. Obviously, you lost a lot of weight. You lost 56 pounds. But that's not the amazing thing. The amazing thing is you lost 74 pounds of hydrated fat. Wow. Wow. This is how you did it. You gained 11 pounds of muscle. Again, uh -huh. gaining muscle is one of the greatest things you can do. Why? Because for every pound of pure muscle you gain, you burn 50 extra calories a day. It's huge. Right. And even though you didn't lose the most amount of weight, you have lost proportionately the most amount of fat. Wow. At this juncture. Thanks. Knowing that I was 26 years old, it's so shocking to think that I let myself get like that. But to see the results and to see how much you've changed, it's, it's amazing. Holly? Yes? I'm really proud of you because you have overcome adversity. One of the things that everyone uses as a crutch, I can't lose weight because I have a thyroid problem. <laughs> you have done incredible and you have a thyroid problem, and actually a pretty severe thyroid problem. A lot of us, I think, when we're losing weight, we're just thinking about, like, physically, like, outward appearance, what we look like. You know, it's great that our sizes are going down and that our faces look thinner. But when they started talking about, you know, insulin and triglycerides and all of these numbers, you don't realize, like, just how unhealthy we were. You have lost more area in your hips proportionate-wise than anybody else here. Over 40% of the volume, the area of your hips you've lost, which is uh, an lot. amazing accomplishment. That's a lot. That's a lot. Good. I, that's a better a scientific lot. term. <laughs> Congratulations. I think that it's so hard sometimes to, to realize all the accomplishments you've done here and just the progress we've made since the last three months we've been here. It's just pretty remarkable stuff. If I had not come to The Biggest Loser, I would have faced an, a very early death and probably a miserable life. And that is not what I wanted for myself. I just really think it's fantastic that a group of obese people came into this house with all these risk factors. And in three months' time, we have wiped this lake clean. Wow. That's worth more than $250,000. That's your life. You got more work to do, so get on back to the gym and keep it going, OK? All right. All right. <laughs> True or false, chili peppers boost your metabolic rate, which can burn up to 50 additional calories a day. True or false, the answer will be revealed after these commercials. True or false, 
chili peppers boost your metabolic rate, which can burn up to 50 additional calories a day. The answer? True. Chili peppers also enhance your immune system, decrease cholesterol, and help minimize UV damage to your eyes. How are you? All right. Oh, are you okay? Yeah, they're temporary. <laughs> How's the face? Are you like, did they do anything to you? <laughs> are you okay? Jumping head first in the pool. It's all fun until everybody gets hurt. Nicole Kim's walking in with these two pieces of corn that are substituting his teeth. And she was just all smiles. She's like this, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. What do you mean to do? Last chance workout. All that It was exactly how I needed her to walk back in this house. Focus on what you need to do. Focus on what's going on. You were below the yellow line last week. You're not going back. We're going to push hard, Nicole. This is going to be the hardest last chance workout you have ever done. 15 seconds. You've got it all day long. You got it, Nicole. Ah! Three, two more. Come on, Nicole. You got it, baby. Ooh, sorry. Don't try to knock my teeth out. See that little white circle? Hit it. Good. One. Two. I fell below the line last week, and to think about having to be in that position again, for me, I still, I'm still not ready to go home. I love being here. I love every minute of being here. I always have. Five more. One. Two. Three. Four, last one. Stand up. Curl that bar. Everyone is thinking, oh, Nicole's not a threat. Nicole, and it's perfect. It's perfect because Nicole is just flying right under the radar. Come on. Pull. Pull. Look at you. Look at you. Are you going to be the girl that wins this show? Is it going to be you? Come on. And the best thing about it is if you look at the numbers, Bill, Neil, um, I don't know. Nicole. Six. Ah! Seven. Beautiful. Beautiful. Here we go. Last chance workout, Neil. You and me, brother. You and me. Nine more. Good. Lower. Two. Beautiful. All the way up. Push. I talk every week about the last chance workouts are getting harder and harder. But this really may have been the hardest workout I've ever had. Three, two, one. <laughs> Neil, I need you right behind me. It just never, never ended. <laughs> one more. <laughs> Beautiful. Two, three, eleven, ten, nine. You're never going to weigh 300 and something pounds again, are you, Neil? No. Never. 13, 14, 15. <laughs> Lift, Neil. Good. Better. Harder. Now, do it again. I wanted to push him so far over the limit that he was just like, but throw in the towel, tap the mat, he was out. Right here, Neil, quickly. <coughs> Neil will just keep going. It's a little aggravating. I really thought today's last chance workout was all about him trying to break me finally. I really think he was determined to do so. Up, Neil. Yes! Get over here, quickly! But I just wouldn't let him do it. I can hear your brain. He's not going to break me. He is not going to break me. He is not going to break me. No. I can see it. I can smell it. <coughs> like, I thought Neil was going to cry at one point. Ah! Good. Go right back to the other side. Do it again. And he never broke. I want to hear you say it. I want to hear you say it. Number one, I want to hear you say it. Number one. What? I want to be number one. I want to hear you say it. I want to be number one. Again. I want to be number one! Yes! Being number one is what this game is about. You're doing everything you can, working as hard as you can. I don't want to get by just it being easy. Look at you. Look how strong you are. Five. You know, I think that you've got to have that mindset to be able to be successful here. One. That was your last chance workout, man. <laughs> Six-pack ads.
Revs are not all about crunches. In fact, contrary to popular belief, you cannot spot reduce body fat. It has to be burned overall. And the best way of doing that is a combination of diet, cardio, and all over resistance training. Tonight on The Biggest Loser, uh, you've witnessed Bill win yet another challenge. I'm so over Bill winning everything. And you watched as the contestants received inspiring news from the doctors. If I took three and a half of these and we taped them around your body, <laughs> that was you. Now, stay tuned to find out who will go below the yellow line. Push, Bill! The Biggest Loser continues right now. last chance workout we got to go to 24-hour fitness um, off campus first workout at a real 24-hour fitness sport you're gonna burn a lot of calories doing this exercise why because you're using your entire body you're using your arms you're using your legs you're using everything I like this right now we need to step it up and there's nothing that's gonna slip through the cracks at this point I have all the time and all the energy right on him pull it back okay. use every muscle remember the more muscle groups you use the more calories you're gonna burn hit it go hard Hard, hard, fast, pull, good, good. All right, that's your warm-up. It's really important that Brian stays. I need him just as bad as he needs me right now. Pull it down. Keeping your core nice and tight. Come on, pick up the intensity. Go four, three, good, B. Last chance workout, B, one more. Good, squeeze. That's what I want to see. Want it. Your last chance workout. It's up to you to push yourself. I can't even talk. What's the matter? Out of breath? Yeah. Love it. Okay, so give me some push-ups right there. You can climb push-ups. Perfect form, keeping your core tight. Good lines. Good. Remember, it's not supposed to be easy. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Come on, be aggressive with it. Squeeze the bicep and think about what you're working. Push yourself. What's the matter? Getting tired? Not me. <laughs> Good. This is a full body workout. This is the, the hardest I've worked since I've been here. I think I pushed myself tremendously this week, and I think I'll do great in the weigh in. I'm going to kick bootay at the weigh in. That's what I'm going to do. We got extra time, so you know what that means? Right. We can play a little bit and get some cardio. Come on. Might need this. Hey, you're lucky I never played basketball. And you're a lot bigger than me, so I'm kind of scared. Out in front of you and chase the ball. That's not how you dribble. What's the matter? Can't catch a girl? Come on. What's the matter? You out of shape? No, but you're a little squirrel. Kim is definitely not, <laughs> she's de Kim's definitely not a basketball player. I really don't think I could get a, a basketball in that hoop to save my life. Oh. She was uh, she was horrible with the ball. She's quick, but she <laughs> she's definitely not a shooter. <laughs> Make it. That's your best last chance workout. If you show that much drive all the way to the end, you're gonna make it in finals. All right? Good job. Let's get out of here. Last chance, Bill. Let's go. Push, Bill. Don't fall. We'll start over. We'll start over. I have nothing but time, Bill. Get up. Get up, Bill. Bill, get up. Bill is a little bit nutso. He is. He is a little bit nuts. Do it again. Up! But so am I, so I get it. I think it's great. I don't think there's anything that I could give Bill or do to Bill that he would not do. Good. This last chance workout is extremely important. Jeff. If I fall below the yellow line, my chances of staying are slim to none. So, last chance. Get up the stairs. Get up the stairs. Everybody's been uh, working really hard because we're down to the nitty gritty now. And two, three, four, all the way down. It's definitely game on. Eight, yes, good. This is your last chance workout. Five, four, push. Three, two. I'm in it, I'm the smallest person here now, so I have to work twice as hard for the same number that a bigger person does. Good. Ugh. Come on. Get your hands up. Get your hands up or I'll hit you in the face. Come on. Go. Ugh. Again. 
and I'm scared. I'm scared that um, I'm going to fall below that yellow line, and then I'm going to go home. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, crap. You set. Ugh. All right, that's better. That was a decent last chance workout. This week, it was difficult because I am on, like, a modified workout because I'm having some problems with my ankle, so my stress level is a lot higher than it has been in previous weeks because I don't feel like I'm doing the same thing as everybody else. Where's Gimpy? Where's Gimpy? Holly! Holly goes into this place where, you know, when you try to train her, she feels like you're victimizing her. I love it. It's like she gets furious at me when I, if I was to make her kickbox, she'd be furious. And it, God forbid, like, she's talking and someone else is talking and I look the wrong way, she's furious and I've ignored her all day long and I don't listen to her. How's it feeling? I didn't do anything, so it's fine. Babe, you didn't do anything because you told me you're in agony. Holly, <laughs> dude, it's fine. Honey, you can't run and you can't kickbox. So I can't? My arms are broken? Okay, do you want to do boxing right now? I actually don't. I'm good. And it's so frustrating because it's like, Holly, honey, I'm trying to help you. Seriously, um, I know it's I know it's getting harder and harder. You know, when it should be getting easier and easier. And uh, you know, I would love to tell you that it gets easier, but I kind of warned you in the beginning that it doesn't. When someone yells at you, you could quit. You could turn around and leave. You have the option of walking out, and none of you do. And all I can really say to you is that it doesn't matter at the end of the day what you see on that scale. What matters is all of the blood and sweat and tears that you have left on this floor. I think it's scary because we've always had each other. And you always will. Julie, you always will. I know you're coming to this place where you're seeing the end of this and you're starting to freak out about being alone in it. It's just we've always we've always had each other. And it's inevitable that one of us at some point is going home and that's just hard to think about. Every single one of us, you know, has accomplished so much already here, you know? And there were 150,000 people that wanted to be here and there were 11 other people that wanted to be in the final seven. So whatever happens from here on out, you've already succeeded past 150,011 other people's expectations. You guys all have learned so much. You are all strong enough. I wouldn't worry about any of you leaving here now. I would miss you. I would hate to come in here every day and have to do this without you. But do I worry? No, I don't worry anymore. I'm not worried. Let's bring it in. All in. Well, we all rotate the All in. Okay, but it's heavy. Three. Next on The Biggest Loser, you won't believe who The Biggest Loser is this week. Your current weight is? And then... You'll be amazed by what the eliminated player oh, looks like go. today. As I'm walking into the weigh-in, I was a bit nervous as usual. If I fall below the line, it's the last weigh-in for me until the finale. I'm trying to prepare myself for the worst while hope for the best, which is what you can do every week, but sometimes you just have a feeling, and I really think that this might be my week to dip below. You want your work in the gym to reflect on a scale, and I know, despite the fact that I have no teeth, that um, I really worked hard this week, and I just want that to reflect on the scale. I just don't want to be below the yellow line. That's all. That's, that's the name of the game right now. You got two weeks to stay above the yellow line, and it definitely would, would change my life um, to be in the finals. I think there's no question if I fall below the yellow line, I'm going home. That's simple. I hope you're all ready for tonight's weigh-in. After tonight, there will only be two more weigh-ins before we make it to the final four. Those final four will have to face the scale one last time. I know you're anxious to get to tonight. The stakes are higher than ever. 
But before we do, I guess I just have to say you look amazing. All of you look fantastic. Julie, do you find that working out as hard as you can week one is a little bit different than working out as hard as you can come week 12? Well, I'm not as afraid of dying anymore. <laughs> week one, I was really afraid of um, dropping dead. And so now at least it's miserable, but at the same time, um, I'm proud of myself when I'm done and I'm not making funeral arrangements. Positive outlook, excellent. As always, tonight's goal is to stay above the yellow line. The two people with the lowest percentage of weight loss will fall below the yellow line and will be up for elimination. And the rest of you will have to send another friend home. With that, we are going to start with B tonight. Let's get you up on that scale, B. I'm hoping to stay above the yellow line as we get away in because it's very likely that I'll go home if I fall below the yellow line. And... I would hate to be the reason that the red team wouldn't be around for the finals. When you first started this competition, you weighed 346 pounds. Your current weight is... 266 pounds you lost four pounds this week it's not as high as i was hoping for this week um i definitely worked hard uh you know i don't know i don't know what to say you know just i hope it's enough to stay above thanks b b gets up there and loses four pounds and i think to myself how can he only lose four pounds again at that point when i saw the four i said he's probably going to be below the other line B, your previous weight was 270 pounds. You lost four pounds this week for a total percentage of weight loss of 1.48%. B, since you started training with Kim, you have lost a total of 80 pounds. Wow. That's a tremendous amount of weight loss. You must feel good about that. Yeah, 80 pounds is definitely the most I've ever lost in, before in my life, so... It's, uh, that's great. Isabel, it's your turn. I had a mix of feelings walking up to the scale. My last chance workout before the weigh-in really kicked my butt. So I was hoping that even though my body had not really been working with me all week, that I would be able to stay above that yellow line. And I was just hoping for whatever number would give me that. Isabel, when you started this competition, you weighed 298 pounds. Your current weight is... That's okay. I really had to work hard this week, and I, some weeks, not that I haven't had to work hard, but it's come easier than others, and this week was definitely a hard week. Your current weight is 230 pounds, and you lost four pounds this week. Congratulations. Normally, in the real world, I would be thrilled about a four, but here it's a different game, especially now. You can't afford to have a number like four anymore when you still weigh 230 pounds. You'd still need more than that, unfortunately. Isabel, your previous weight was 234 pounds. You lost four pounds this week for a total percentage of weight loss of 1.71%. So, Isabeau, that puts you in first place so far. Remember, it's not a guarantee of your safety. If everyone else posts higher than you, you will be up for elimination. Isabeau, since you started training with Jillian, you have lost 68 pounds. <laughs> Bill, you're up. I think if I fall below with, um, with Bill on the black team, I think I still will have a chance to be safe. I think those girls on the black team are, are looking out for themselves. And I, I definitely know that they see Bill as a bigger threat than they do me. Bill, when you started this competition, you weighed 334 pounds. Your current weight is... If you drink two beers a week for one year, how many calories would you consume? 15,000, 13,000, 9,000, or 5,000? The answer will be revealed after these commercials.
If you drink two beers a week for one year, how many calories would you consume? The answer, 15,000 calories. 30 million Americans drink more than six beers per week. That's over 45,000 calories per year. Bill, when you started this competition, you weighed 334 pounds. Your current weight is... Bill, your current weight is 222 pounds. You lost six pounds again this week. You know, today I, I, uh, I got two new pairs of pants that uh, basically were the size that I wore as a freshman in college. Every one of these little milestones makes us feel great about ourselves, and uh, every time I get on the scale and see a loss, no matter what it is, but I'm, I'm real happy when I can stay for another week and continue the journey forward. Bill's a machine. Like, I don't know if there's any other way to describe Bill other than he's an absolute machine. He's pretty much guaranteed to stay above the O-line every week the way he works. So, you know, he's, a, he's definitely a force to be reckoned with, I guess. Bill, your previous weight was 228 pounds. You lost six pounds this week for a total percentage of weight loss of 2.63%. Congratulations, Bill. That puts you into first place so far. With two people below you, you are safe from elimination this week. Bill, since you started playing this game, you have lost 112 pounds. <laughs> Nicole, last week you lost four pounds and two front teeth. <laughs> You're up. Still with 218 pounds, I still have a lot of weight to lose. But sometimes I think that your body, just from pounding it and pounding it and pounding it so hard, it gets to the point where it says, I need a break. Hopefully, that doesn't happen. Nicole, when you started this competition, you weighed 279 pounds. Your current weight is... Yay! That's awesome! <laughs> Nicole, your current weight is 212 pounds. You lost six pounds this week. Yay! It's, it's very exciting. I, um, you know, I thought I handled the whole t two thing with the best um, I could. And, uh, you know, Bob was like, I can't believe you had a root canal and you still worked out. But being below the yellow line last week was just horrendous for me. And I just needed to just step it up as best I could. And, and I'm really excited. Really excited. Well, it pays off. Thank you. Nicole has definitely had a pretty rough week this week, you know, but um, she, as always, is a trooper. She fights through it and finds new ways to push herself. Nicole, your previous weight was 218 pounds. You lost six pounds this week for a total percentage of weight loss of 2.75%. You are definitely safe from elimination this week, along with Bill. B, Isabel, you are both still at risk. Holly, last mm -hmm. week you came in first at the weigh-in. I did. It's time to see how you did this week. Immediately after I got that eight last week, I started thinking about this week. And part of me was thinking, you know, sometimes a big number is followed by a small number. And I was just very nervous the whole week that this week my number wasn't going to be as big. Holly, when you started this competition, you weighed 255 pounds. You're pretty close to a pretty big milestone. Yes. Your current weight is... Okay. Close. <laughs> Almost there next week, if, if it's possible. Holly, your current weight is 201 pounds. I really just want to get out of the two so bad. And, you know, it's just right there. I'm just kind of staring it in the face. <laughs> Holly, your previous weight was 204 pounds. You lost three pounds this week for a total percentage of weight loss of 1.47%. Holly, that puts you right at the edge of the yellow line. Yeah. But there are two more people left to weigh in. Isabeau, with two people below you, you are definitely safe from elimination this week. But B, you are still at risk. Julie, if you have lost more than two pounds this week, you will push your friend below the yellow line. So let's find out how you did. 
There is nothing that I consider worse than going under the line with Holly. We've been um, in this from the beginning together, and the thought of both of us, you know, being up for elimination just was making my stomach turn. Julie, when you started this competition, you weighed 218 pounds. Your current weight is... Congratulations, Julie. Thank you very much. There are no words to describe working really hard and then seeing the number that you want. I mean, this is week 12, and I lost five pounds. It was the greatest feeling in the world. Julie, your previous weight was 176 pounds. You lost five pounds this week for a total percentage of weight loss of 2.84%. Julie, not only are you safe from elimination this week, you are currently number one. Congratulations, Julie. Thank you. Holly, I am sorry to say that Julie's weight this week has pushed you below the yellow line. And with only one person left to weigh in, you are definitely up for elimination this week. The question now, will it be B or Neil who falls below the yellow line with you? It definitely wasn't a good feeling to be the first to weigh in and just watch my name just go down the slide and end up right above the yellow line. Neil, if you have lost more than four pounds, you are safe from elimination this week. But if you haven't, you will fall below the yellow line and be up for elimination with Holly. If you've lost more than four pounds, you will also be accomplishing a pretty major milestone. You're at a 303 pounds right now. Have you thought about that 300 line? You know, I've really tried not to think about it all week because I just wanted to focus on what I was doing, but I'd be lying if I said I haven't been thinking about it every second of every day. I can't even remember the last time I was under 300 pounds. Maybe eighth grade, ninth grade. I was probably 14 years old. Uh, you know, losing 100 pounds for me was big, but since the first day I came on campus, going below 300 would be a dream for me. Let's find out if your dream came true. Uh, let's do it. Priority one at this stage of the game is still stay by the yellow line. But, um, you know, for me, a personal accomplishment to get below 300, regardless if I get sent home or not, would mean everything. So, Neil, when you started this competition, you weighed 421 pounds. Your current weight is... The average person burns 60 calories per hour watching TV. How many calories could you burn if you got up to change the TV channel? 70 calories per hour, 95 calories per hour, 155 calories per hour, or 200 calories per hour? The answer will be revealed after these commercials. The average person burns 60 calories per hour watching TV. How many calories could you burn if you got up to change the TV channel? The answer, 95 calories. Add some bicep curls while you watch TV and burn an additional 200 calories. So Neil, when you started this competition, you weighed 421 pounds. Your current weight is... Nobody say anything. Oh, God, I'm so afraid to look down right now. Oh, my God. Yes! I see the two in front of my number for the longest time. And since I've been here, the knock off a four off the front, and now knock off a three. I can assure every, myself and everybody, I'm never going back to that again. That's it. I'm, I'm welcome to the twos. I'm here to stay. And uh, it just feels awesome. It just feels awesome. Yes! Thank you so much. Oh, the scale was good to me. You know, I just, I'd love to make it to the end, but I know for me personally that this is what it's all about for me it's just being able to do it this far and B I'm sorry man I, I'm sorry dog but 
it's just, it feels great. It really does. Well, congratulations, Neil. Thank you so much. Your current weight is 298 pounds. Neil, your previous weight was 303 pounds. You lost five pounds this week for a total percentage of weight loss of 1.65 percent. And that is enough to push B below the yellow line. B, Holly, I'm sorry to say you have both fallen below the yellow line. And the others will have to decide tomorrow night which one of you they will be sending home. Now that I know it's Holly and I below the yellow line, I'll talk to everyone in the house and see what's going on. But because I think everyone perceives me as the biggest threat uh, between the two of us, it's a, definitely a huge possibility that I'll be going home tomorrow. It's getting to be a tight game. Going forward, every person in this room is your competition. They are directly competing against you to stay here to make it to the final four and for the ultimate prize of $250,000. But you have to constantly ask yourself, who is your biggest threat? You have a lot to think about. I'll see you tomorrow. Morning, I'll have to break the news that I'll that I'm below the yellow line to Kim again, and it's um, it's not anything that I'm look, looking forward to, especially knowing how hard both both of us um, work. So uh, to have to break that information to her tomorrow is definitely going to be tough. You know, if I, if I'm if I'm eliminated, I, I don't know what's going to happen to Kim. We're the last last two, you know. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats, dogs, and everything in between. I know I may be preaching to the choir right now, but I'm going to preach anyway. Okay, Holly and I both have a um, similar, I know a black team is, I know y'all kind of, you know, together, basically. Like you said, friendships and all that kind of stuff. Holly and I have similar percentages. I'm like 1% higher than she is as far as total weight loss or whatever the case may be. She can lose less weight than me, and, as we saw today, and be right there as, with percentage as me. So I know it's, y'all, minds are somewhat already made up, but just consider that while you're thinking. Um, and other than that, it was great. You know, if if I'm the one to go, it was great. Uh, me and all y'all, even the bastard right here. <laughs> like what? <laughs> but um, I'm gonna go ahead and start packing and uh, get the stuff, get things rolling, so I don't have to. I can still work out tomorrow because that's what it's all about. See y'all. Eighty pounds. <laughs> Eighty. Thank you. Uh So, uh, where are we at? Who's above, who's below, what's the numbers? It's Holly and I, below. Oh, God. It was, um, it's hard to tell you, Kim. Oh, my God. She was below me and, um, came down to Neil and I. I lost four pounds. Neil needed to lose more than four. He lost five. Oh, God, one, one what a pound, nightmare. One pound. Oh my gosh. One pound. One pound. Oh my god. I can't I can't believe you're below the yellow line. I cannot believe it. Oh my god. Okay, well, I mean that's not good. No. It's not good at all. I mean obviously everybody here is gonna see you as a bigger threat. With black team having majority vote. Yeah, we're screwed. Yeah. I just But don't uh breathe and you taught me enough <laughs> and as much as I don't want to leave dog I was doing good today until I saw you <laughs> for me Kim helped put actual weight loss into real life I mean words really right now words don't I can't express you know how great grateful I am for the time that I've had with Kim and I mean I, I definitely have a new lease on life I'm 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 at the start of being a new person you know, my, my, my biggest disappointment for my, just personally is that the red team is gone. And 
It's horrible. And I, you know what? I would be, I would have been more upset this week if I knew. I would have been upset at myself if I knew I didn't do everything in my power. I know. This week, but I know this week I did everything I could. Well, you got me forever. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. And the finish line isn't in two weeks here. The finish line isn't in December. The finish line is never. You know, it's like you've started this whole journey and now you just have to stick with it. You have to stay with this journey for the rest of your life. And you're gonna have ups, you're gonna have downs, it's gonna be hard, it's gonna have be happy, it's gonna be sad, it's gonna be an emotional roller coaster. And you've experienced all of that here. All of it. So you're ready, you know? You are ready. And I have to let you go and believe that you're ready. I have to do that, and I will. I'll be like, okay, fly, little bird, fly. <laughs> you did, I'm, I appreciate, honestly, I, I really do appreciate everything. Yeah. If B goes home and the red team goes extinct, I'm still going to be very, very proud. At the end of the day, it's about success in the long run. It's not about a game. It's not about a challenge. It's not about money. It's about losing weight and getting your life back and I guarantee that the red team will all get their lives back and for me that's success oh B you can't go ah. you can't go don't go don't go don't go I'll beg and I'll plead what if I come to the nation and I can cast a vote <laughs> if you don't they want vote, my vote <laughs> tonight's elimination. I'm feeling pretty confident that I'm still going to be here tomorrow, but we've seen folks change the last minute before, so you never know. Any, I've never done anything that was this hard before, and if I were to go home before I was finished, that would be devastating. For me, I've never had any siblings or anything like that, so when the time comes for Julian Isbo and I to part ways, it's going to be really upsetting. I don't want it to be anytime soon. This journey's been great. I, I'm definitely not ready to go. I've learned a lot, but I still think I have some more to learn. Kim has so much more information that I know that she can impart to me if I was here just that much longer. I've lost 80 pounds, and I mean, people at home, unless you've been overweight and have been able to conquer it, don't know what it's like. And um, I'm not sad right now. I'm uh. I'm really proud of myself. Tonight's a big night. We're in the elimination room again. You all had to choose. You had to vote between one of two people, B and Holly. Two people you have spent a long time with. People you consider friends. One of them will be going home tonight. The other will still be around playing this game. So whoever you don't vote for tonight stands a pretty good chance of making it to the final four and competing against you. You've had a lot to think about before you cast your votes. It's a big decision. Another thing I'm sure you had to consider was B. He is the final member of the red team. If he goes home tonight, so does the red team. And it will be the first time in Biggest Loser history that a team has been eliminated before the end. Let's find out how the votes went. As we go around the table, each of you will cast your vote for either B or Holly. Whoever receives the most votes will be asked to leave the Biggest Loser campus immediately. So, Isabel, you're first. Okay. Um, both the people at the end of this table I love. Unfortunately, one of these people is my family. 
and I have to put family first. And for that reason, I voted for Brian. Okay, that's one vote for you, B. Two more and you will be eliminated. Neil, you're up. You know, Allison, I think uh, tonight's decision was really a tough one for me. But when I was thinking about uh, how to cast my vote, it kind of uh, dawned on me that it appears there's two sides right now on campus. There's uh, a side that has the majority vote, and there's a side where the rest of us kind of feel like we have our backs up against the wall. And, uh, you know, usually the majority vote always rules, and I think that uh, tonight might be no different. It may be the same case. But I think my vote tonight really was uh, an attempt to try to break the majority's grip that they could have on the campus. And it's for that reason, that reason only, that I voted for Holly. Sorry. That means there's one vote for you, Holly, and one vote for you, B. If either one of you receives two more votes, you will be eliminated. Bill, who did you vote for? Well, Allison, considering that both of the people up for elimination tonight have played this game with nothing but integrity, have always cast their vote for the biggest threat, purely selfishly, my vote is based on who do I think might take my space in the finals if I, if I don't cast this vote. Um, and so, purely strategically and with much respect, I cast my vote for B. B, that is two votes for you. One more and you will be eliminated. Holly, you still have one vote, so if you receive the next two votes, you will be eliminated. Julie. What were you thinking when you cast your vote tonight? This is no longer a personal decision. This is purely strategic. And um, because of the strategy that I've set forth, I voted for. Julie. What were you thinking when you cast your vote tonight? Um, the person that I voted for, I absolutely adore. And I hope that they take to heart um, what I said earlier. And that is that this is no longer a personal decision. This is purely strategic. And um, because of the strategy that I've set forth, B. B. That's three votes. We don't have to see Nicole's vote. I'm sorry to tell you that you have been eliminated. You are not the biggest loser. And you are the final member of the red team that we have to say goodbye to. Yeah, that, that's the one thing that does sting a little bit that um, I played a part in Biggest Loser history that wasn't good. Uh, one team being totally eliminated or extinct from the game. And um, I fought as hard as I could, I think, to keep Red here. But uh, it just wasn't in the cards. And, you know, for everyone who's been on the Red team from years past, I'm, I apologize. But uh, I'm going to keep working. And now it's time for you to say goodbye to everyone. I weigh 346 pounds. Right now, I weigh 266 pounds. I've changed my life in three months. Oh! I want everybody to know that I gave it my all. I laid it on the line hard. 
I'm proud that, you know, I never quit. <laughs> and I'm not quitting on this. Overall, the biggest loser experience for me has just been great. And I couldn't ask for anything more, honestly. I, I'm, I'm happy, totally happy. <laughs> America, the next time you see me, I'll definitely be at my goal weight, and the red team and I will be leading the charge to win the eliminated players competition. I'm nervous, excited. I feel good, though. I'm, you know, it's, it's, you know, it was kind of sad leaving the campus yesterday or last night, but, you know, it feels good being at home today. It was like a breath of fresh air to see Ryan walk through the front door. Just knowing that he's going to be healthy, to see our kids, to be around, to play with them outside and, you know, not be tired and um, to help me take care of them, it's, you know, that's just wonderful. Oh, baby, how good it is to have you home. When Brian came through the door, I felt like I was seeing Brian for the first time, and it felt good. It, I just, I couldn't help but cry. How everybody doing? Good. 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 To see him at the size that he is now, it's a, it's almost unbelievable. It's almost unbelievable. He's a good man, and I'm I'm mighty proud of. Him. Man, you look good. Thank you. Great. I've possibly added seven to eight years onto my life just by working out and eating correctly. And, you know, I did all these things without medication, without surgery, without, you know, it, so it's things that every every person who sees this can do. I wore 52 weights when I left here. I do. I wear 40 now. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 <laughs> like, like, seriously, seriously. Like, on the way out to California, on the way out to California was the first time. Then I got, the first time I had to get on the plane and I had to use like a, a lap belt extender so I could fit in the seat belt. On the way back, like the seat was too big. It's like, little stuff like that. It's a blessing. <laughs> it's amazing to think in that short amount of time, you can change your, your entire life. But if you put your mind to it and really dedicate yourself to it, it's definitely possible because I'm, I'm a living witness. I've definitely changed my life for the better. When I started on the Biggest Loser campus, I weighed 346 pounds. Today, I weigh 228 pounds. And so far, I've lost a total of 118 pounds. I'm doing things today that I never thought I would do before going to the Biggest Loser campus. Before I got to the campus, uh, I could probably do maybe one or two push-ups. But now, I just knock them out like it's not a problem. What makes me happy is doing music. I like love writing and singing. Be half a man to be all the man that I've never been. I definitely feel a lot more confident just in my everyday appearance, so I'm ready to take on the world of uh, performing. Bye-bye, yes to me. Bye-bye, yes to me. It's amazing, you know, the, the amount of um, stamina that you get from working out. Losing weight gives you a lot more testosterone, I think. Too much. My lifestyle has definitely changed for the better since I've been home. I'm just so much more active, and I, I, I eat so much better, and it's a blessing to have been a part of, you know, the biggest loser. loser it is do or die right now with two shows left till the finale the blue team is down to its last two players us versus the world really now when every pound counts a shocking weigh-in where someone makes biggest loser history that's crazy all new biggest loser next tuesday on nbc friday will she quit the game 27 60 81 000 with enough money to quit her job <laughs> all new deal or no deal friday on nbc an all-new Law & Order SVU begins now, here on NBC.